Festen, or The Celebration, is a Danish film directed by Thomas Vinterberg, and is the first one released under the Dogma 95 movement. The film is centered around the celebration of one Helg's 60th birthday, attended by nearly every member of his family. Tragedy had recently struck in the family, as one of Helg's daughters, Linda, has recently committed suicide. Behind this suicide is a dark and unearthed truth, held onto as a deep secret by a select few. One of Helg's sons, Christian, has become disillusioned with the family's blissful ignorance and decides to reveal the secret at dinner. The family enters a spiral of self-destruction as its corruption is unfolded, all while several side plots involving different members of the family ramp up the intensity and, and interwoven dark deceit. Before I talk about this film any further, let me break down the Dogma 95 movement and its manifesto. The Dogma 95 movement was a filmmaking collective created by Lars von Trier and Thomas Vinterberg in 1995 and required filmmakers under the label to adhere by a set of strict rules, known as the Vows of Chastity. The rules were these. Shooting must be done on location. Props and sets must not be brought in, but if a particular prop is necessary for the story, a location must be chosen where this prop is to be found. The sound must never be produced apart from the images or vice versa. Music must not be used unless it occurs where the scene is being shot. The camera must be handheld. Movement or immobility attainable in the hand is permitted. The film must be in color. Special lighting is not acceptable. There is too little light for exposure. The scene must be cut or a single lamp be attached to the camera. Obstacle work and filters are forbidden. The film must not contain superficial action including murders, weapons, etc. Temporal and geographical alienation are forbidden. That is to say that the film takes place here and now. Genre movies are not acceptable. The film format must be Academy 35mm, and the director must not be credited. Films released within the Dogma 95 movement include a few films which end up being popular within the art scene, a few of them being The Idiots, Julian Donkey Boy, Italian for Beginners, The King is Alive, and, of course, Festin. I'm a huge fan of, of the Dogma 95 movement, and even wrote an essay on it for my AP English class when I was a junior in high school. I wrote at about 2 in the morning while smoking a ton of weed, taking amphetamines, and drinking hard liquor. It's so it's definitely at least an interesting read. Bestin is often considered to be the best film released under the Dogma 95, and I'm inclined to agree. My favorite of them all used to be Julian Donkey Boy, but that was before I developed severe schizophrenia. I now find the film to be an offensive study of a caricature of a schizophrenic, mostly written and acted as a complete stereotype. I'll definitely be reviewing the film soon and giving my extensive thoughts on it. Anyway, more about Festin. Festin is the most intense, raw, experimental drama I've ever seen, alongside Gaspar Noé's Irreversible. The subject matter deftly edited intertwining stories acting, and frenzied camera work all make for an expressive, involving work which feels believable. It's one of those films which is so engaging that it made my blood boil, wanting to shake the more ignorant characters, slap them, and yell what the fuck is wrong with you. The injustices of the first half of the movie are paid off by the end, leaving the family members in a realistically awkward and catastrophized state. The film has been labeled as a black comedy drama, but its sparse elements of black comedy only serve to exponentiate the tragedy of the film's family. Half of the party's guests are chronic alcoholics who wash away and blunt their guilt with whatever booze is available. The family is also filled with ignorant racists whose only defense towards a black guest is to sing a song called A Real Negro Man, which is an attempt by Vinterberg to satirize the racism so prevalent in Denmark's bourgeoisie. All in all, Thomas Vinterberg's Festin is one of the most intense dramas of the 1990s and is a bold first entry in the Dogma 95 canon, making use of its restraints to the film's overall advantage. It is an unforgettable experience which I revisit frequently and is creatively inspiring in its form and technique. It is indeed a masterpiece.